Hello Sim Racers and welcome to Rearview Racing. Today I'm going to take a look through some of the video settings for Assetto Corsa Competizione so you can extract the most amount of performance and visual quality out of your gaming PC. First up is the resolution scale which controls the downscaling and upscaling of the game's resolution. For me, I keep this on 100%. This setting has an effect on the performance but with a limited enhancements to the overall image it's something worth keeping just as it is. There are other settings worth changing to improve the quality. Next up is view distance. Now view distance is a little confusing because you would think the higher the setting, the more you'll see. However, the high setting instead of the epic still works well and gives you a decent view into the distance. The epic setting from what I understand only really adds detail to objects and not necessarily improving the distance that they can be seen. I have this on high and that's what I've always had. Shadows are one of the main performance killers in this title, which to be honest is the same across all games that use it. This requires a significant amount of power and should be the first thing to turn down if you're running into problems. I keep this on high as I find it's a good balance between performance and quality. Now anti-aliasing. No one wants to see jagged edges and shimmering when looking forward. This is why this setting is so important to the overall image. In the beta, the temporal AA was causing ghosting when watching the cars in motion. However, this has now been fixed, so it's the setting I use. I found FXAA hurts the frame rate and creates that awful shimmering effect I was on about that I just can't stand. If you've got enough horsepower, this is a setting I would keep on high and with temporal anti-aliasing. Now, I'm not quite sure on all the different things that the effect setting changes, but it looks like high adds better quality reflections and possibly more sparks, but it's difficult to tell. If you want better reviver of those things, set this as high as you can, but I have it on the high setting. But you can have it on the epic, it's totally up to you. I don't think it affects the performance too much, but again, it all depends on what system you're running. Post processing is an interesting setting because it increases the quality of the motion blur, which is something some players turn off completely. This is of course personal preference, but be mindful that this setting also controls the depth of field, which has a lot to the overall quality and is a nice effect to have on. I have this on high. Now the foliar setting is completely my personal preference, however I have this on epic. Just because I find it more immersive to have as many trees and track size objects as possible on show. Epic increases the quality and the amount of trees on the racetracks, so it's something I've always had on epic. Without a shadow of a doubt, textures for me are the most important thing to have on epic in the game. No one wants to look at horrible muddy textures when racing against other drivers. There is a small performance difference when changing it, but this should be on epic straight away. Now onto the mirror setting, and this is something that does affect performance. If the mirrors are set to max, the game is rendering two separate views at the same time, which is very taxing on the GPU. I have this on the medium setting with the view distance on 20 meters as to be honest you're only really going to use the mirrors when other cars are close to you so you don't need it for any more distance. If you've still got enough GPU power at this point you can get away with having this on all opponents but if you are struggling drop this one down. So I'm quickly just going to run through some of the advanced settings. Uh, first one is materials quality, uh, it's exactly what it says on the tin. I'll be wary of putting this up to epic because it does really sap the performance so I have this on high. Temporal up sampling I'd have this enabled because you're not touching anything with the resolution scale if you're keeping it at 100%. Bloom quality I'd have this on epic because it really does brighten up the image on your screen and creates a really good effect with the bloom. Volumetric fog personal preference I have this on low because I don't really like having a foggy scene I like to have it as clear as possible. Because I run a lot of foliage, I have this on medium because I'm not really looking at it up close, but I want to see as much as possible. Uh, I'm not quite sure on this one, I have this enabled as it is by default. I haven't seen any difference between the two, so I just keep this one enabled. And advanced sharpening filter, I'd keep this one enabled as, again, it's enabled by default. But it also adds as an additional post-processing post filter, so I'd keep this one on enabled. The rest of the image customization are all personal preference. So this is what I run, 100% sharpness, you can change that if you want. Motion blur, I only have them on the external cameras. I don't like motion blur when I'm in the car. I'm always looking forward, the blur comes naturally with the screen. Uh, but this is what I run, and I run a 60 frames a second. Frame limit. 
Well, I hope you found this video informative about how to set up your Assetto Corsa competency only to find a balance between image quality and performance. If you have any questions about some of the settings I've been using, feel free to pop them in the comments below and please subscribe for more content. But for now, thanks for watching. Rearview Racing.